you know, unfortunately on the road, the last thing you want to do when you've got a good lead is put a lot, keep stopping the clock and letting the team back into it, and that's what we did. And then we we took a lot of off balance shots, you know, not indicative of the way that we played lately, where we were going one on three and throwing it off the backboard, begging for a foul instead of making the better play. But uh, extremely disappointed with our play after the 14 point lead, and I think a lot of our players are going to go back and really be kicking themselves because especially the two missed box outs toward the end of the game, you know, those were daggers. I mean, we had an opportunity when they missed a free throw to go down and make something happen. Instead, we let them get a free throw. Uh, I'm sorry, we let them get a rebound and then they have an opportunity to go back to the free throw line. It just was unfortunate. Uh, we've got to take better care of the basketball. Uh, even though there were only 17 turnovers, they were very costly 17 turnovers. And you could still count some of our bad bad possessions offensively as turnovers because we didn't we weren't patient to get the good look. But I think, you know, the biggest difference in the game was Linfors. You know, when she's in, you know, their team's clicking. When she was out, you know, we were able to go on a little bit of run and you know she she sucked it up and came back after an injury and I thought she made a big difference in the game. Well and I also think that there were some positives in this contest. You had another fantastic performance from Kyle Baumgartner because you asked her to do a lot defensively to guard Courtney Lynn for us. Uh, and then she turns around and, uh, and and puts up 17 points, four rebounds, and three assists. I think Kyle gave us an awful lot on the offensive end. You know, defensively we still got to work on a few things, but I was proud of how she fought back and gave us some good offensive looks. We got to find a way to keep Yolanda Richardson in the game. Uh, it was very disappointing to see her foul out in very little time tonight. Uh, you know, it, it's unfortunate. Uh, but, you know, you've got to play the style the referees are calling, and, and I didn't think that we made a good enough adjustment. I thought we complained instead of adjusting. And when you're on the road, you never know what you're going to face. And as much as we'd like to say it's called the same in every conference, you know, sometimes certain things are key in other conferences that aren't in ours, and uh, we've got to adjust to that faster. Well, our bench today, 30 points. All of their points came from their first five. Um, I think that, that another positive in this contest, and, and I know it's hard to find them in a defeat like this, uh, is the fact that Spots is 6 for 10. You are getting serious contributions. Yeah, I think that's key. But it, I think the biggest disappointment for me in this game is, you know, they've got a post player that goes 19 points, 10 rebounds. And we had three kids I thought we could rotate and wear her down. I just don't think we did. And, and that's going to be something that I'm kicking myself on going forward. Plus, you know, we're going to have to continue to work on box now. Obviously, we're heading home for Christmas, and I think the thing that I reminded the players of is just what you spoke of earlier, was that details matter so much, especially on the road. We didn't take care of the details tonight. That's why we have a stinger right before Christmas. But if it really matters this much, they're going to work out over break. They're going to come back hungrier when we face a Northwestern team right after Christmas. And you know, you've talked about going on the road. This team has had some success on the road against the Big Ten this year under some adverse circumstances. Uh, they know they can do it. And now I guess it's just a matter of going to suburban Chicago and getting it done two days after Christmas. Well, I think a lot of it, too, is just showing some maturity on the road. I, I thought so many times in timeouts we were spending too much time calming people down instead of just playing the game and making the coaching adjustments. Uh, we've got to be a little bit more mature when the game goes on swings to handle that and go on to the next play, and that's when we're going to grow up as a team. But some of that is we've got some players that aren't used to playing the minutes or having the pressure on them that they have right now because uh, we've got new people facing that, whether it be because of graduation or because of injury. You know, we're put in this situation, and we can either sink or we can climb, and I hope that we choose to climb. Uh, I couldn't agree more, but uh, I would be very, very remiss here because uh, we've got a few days off for the holidays. Uh, if I didn't extend uh, to you and yours on behalf of mine back home in Toledo, my wife Janice was so uh, I am absolutely having the time of my life working with these girls this year, calling these games. And if I didn't stop and reflect on that during the holidays, uh, I would be doing you and this university a disservice. I'm most grateful for it. And from all of us uh, at Learfield Sports, Merry Christmas. Well, Merry Christmas to you. And, you know, as much as this stings, you know, this isn't the end of the season. We've got a lot of games to play, and this team's going to continue to get a lot better. And we're going to learn how to get better on the road. And we've got another good test right after Christmas. And, you know, we appreciate everybody that's listening that are, are huge fans of our program because I do think we've got some of the better fans in the, in the country. And you're doing you're doing a great job with us and, and to everybody that's listening and to you. Uh, I wish you Merry Christmas as well. Thank you so much. That is head coach Trisha Cullop. The Rockets lose a tough one today to Milwaukee, 60-57. We'll